All right. Royce Unchained here. Uh, bad news for the Wolves. We'll talk some twins. Opening day yesterday. Uh, we've got we've got one day of sample size on the new baseball rules, but it was reported late in the night, around midnight. Nas Reed indeed has a broken wrist. Yeah. Sham, Shams from the Athletic is reporting uh, broken wrist, and he's going to miss a lengthy period of time. He's become one yeah. of their best players, Pat, over the last yeah. couple months. Yeah, he has. He's been really important to them. He can actually handle the ball. He can shoot the three. He's a warrior, man. He's he, he competes at every moment. Uh, it was uh, it was uh, reported all over last night, and uh, it's not good. Uh, and uh, you know, it's just all of a sudden you're in a situation where you had the great road trip, and then you did all the whining after the Phoenix game which means uh, Rudy Gobert is going to probably get the maximum $50,000 uh, fine for the referees, uh, maybe 35000 That's what Fred Van Vliet got. But, uh, you know, and now you lose this guy. Uh, you know, who's that? who does that make more important? Tori and Prince? It's a, they did kind of play a different position, but uh, – Broken wrist, that's that's a month at least, isn't it? So you'd have to win you'd have to win a playoff series. You'd have to not only win win the play and you'd have to win a playoff series before you get them back. That's too bad. I I uh, wonder uh wonder if that'll do anything to his uh value as a free agent. Probably not. But, I don't uh, think because it's it's not like a if it was like a Achilles or a knee yeah, ligament right. or something, but yeah. it's it's his off hand and it's a broken wrist, so it should heal. And mm -hmm. the, and the, you know Mark Laurie and Alex Rodriguez are going to be the ones at some point on the hook for luxury tax in a year from mm -hmm. now. But yes. the Wolves are going to have to make some lux luxury tax business decisions here if they want guys yeah. like Nas Reed to come back for long term contracts. It is uh, it is funny though that uh, you know the the vibe couldn't have been better uh, going into that Phoenix game after those two wins, and then they end up being the martyrs, and then they uh, and now they lose Nas Reed and. All of a sudden, they go into tonight's game against the Lakers, and uh, you know you got some referees showing up tonight saying they think we screwed them last time. <laughs> Wait till we get them tonight. <laughs> we got a LeBron here. LeBron might shoot twenty-two free throws tonight. So uh, you know that's the one thing about the NBA: you, you can rip the hell out of the officials, but they'll get you back. They don't. They they'll get you back. They're a club, and they're gonna screw you now. Of course, uh, Chris Finch's quote was saying, "Monty Williams got his what got what he wanted to, uh, with uh, by complaining about the uh, free throws." But uh, uh, I don't know. I I I I I kind of agree with what Gobert was saying. They're going out of their way calling these moving screens and things on him, but uh, it it just doesn't serve any purpose. And now you now you got a chance to get screwed against the Lakers. So I don't like it. This Nas thing feels unfortunately. Very wolves like, right? Like things are yeah. starting to roll. You had this guy who's playing great, like the bigs were all working, and then it's very wolves like that. Ah, uh, he's got a broken wrist, and to your point, Pat will probably miss a month. Yeah, it's it's just yeah, it's I'm just saying, you know, 72 hours from the way you were feeling before the Phoenix game to the way you're feeling going into this Laker game. And uh, even the Pelicans, who uh, they got coming up here, uh, have won five in a row. Now they haven't been playing anybody, but they've won five in a row. So, you know, it's, well, it's they, uh, yeah. The, so right now, as we sit here this morning, uh, the Pelicans and the Wolves, and the Pelicans, I think, have a tiebreaker over the Wolves, but they're tied for the seven. And the Lakers are a half game back. And then you get Oklahoma City. The good news is the Mavericks are just an absolute dumpster yeah, fire. Yeah. So I, even if things kind of go sideways here, if you win a couple more games, it's going to be almost impossible for the, the Mavericks. If you win like two more games, the Mavericks would have to, I think, win their final five. To and and that's not going to happen. So you're you're probably not going to miss the plan, I guess, at this point. But it's uh, it'll be interesting. Are they going to go small without Nas? Another idea, if they wanted to. They could convert the two-way contract of Luca Garza because you can't. You're not eligible for the playoffs if you're a two-way contract guy, but you can convert that to a, a real contract. Yes, He's one of the well, great G League players in history. He's averaging yeah, like thirty yes, points right. a game. Do you go small or do you unleash Luca Garza okay. and you and wave somebody? Well, uh, I think they got to activate Luca, Luca for sure, don't you? Uh, I mean, for for this stretch here, and and uh, you know, to take whatever hit you get financially, but. Uh, 
Yeah, I, I was thinking that. He, he's got to get eight, ten minutes now, probably. So uh, you, you can't go small all the time. One of their big advantages has been being big, right? Yeah, so, it has uh, been. It is. Uh, it is. Uh, I, I, it's a bad. I hate to see it happen to a guy like him because he's such a competitor, and uh, it's uh, it, it's kind of the equivalent of Jorge Polanco being hurt in baseball. You don't, you don't, uh, you know, this guy who played through everything is uh, is now unfortunately got an injury, and uh, same thing with Nas. I, I'd really like to see him back here, though. I don't know how they're going to do it, but uh, you know, I. It, it will be interesting to see if the cat blend works with because the the cat go bear blend has been okay now because they're not getting in each other's way like they were. So is this going to change it? Not having Nas as the option to, you know, to, they they might have to be on the court together more now, right? Yeah, go and, bear I think, and, and the benefit of Nas, you know, compared to Gobert, for instance, is when he's out there. He can be a big, he can grab rebounds, he can score inside, right? But he can also just stretch out and stand in the corner yes. and be a be a wing player, basically. And when it, the, the fact that he became a three-point shooter just blows my mind. The idea that this would ever occur, never, I mean, that was a talent that he might have, but never, never occurred to me that uh, watching him play the first two or three years he was around here, but... Uh, quite a second-round pick, that's for sure, and it's, it's too bad, but... Uh, uh, I don't know. They're, uh, it'll be interesting to see. It, it'll be rocking and rolling in the building tonight, and they're going to be ready to boo the hell out of the officials every time they call a foul. But yeah. uh, uh, I, I wonder if uh, the Gobert was so frontal. There's uh, I, I, I looked it up. I tried to look it up but to see what the ultimate penalty you can give a guy for criticizing the officials. And uh, unless you want to go to arbitration, 50000 is the max. So if they wanted to suspend them, they'd probably have to uh, go to arbitration about that. So okay. I suppose maybe they'll fine him fifty. I, I think he can playing. afford the fifty thousand dollar fine. It's just he's he's a he's a dummy though. He's a he, he, I mean, you look it up as I said the other day. You look up Google. There's like six times he's done the same thing. It, it doesn't just serve any purpose. Uh, I, I mean, it's frustrating, and uh, they're. I, uh, although he might figure they're screwing me anyway, so I might as well get, I might as well say something because uh, you know he's not getting any calls anyway. So I don't, yeah. I don't know what it is. I wonder if he's, uh, I wonder if through the years he's uh, irritated enough officials that they're going to screw him whenever they get the chance. Well, but, and this uh, to me, this is kind of a. I guess the question is, should the should the coach be the one? Hey guys, I don't want to hear another word. I will hmm. be the one. I will be the one, the front person for this. Did Finch say enough? He was he was hinting very strongly and kind of mm -hmm. making, you know, allusions to the officiating. At some point, does Finch need to get tossed or get fined at a post game so he can, you know, maybe maybe take the onus off the players from saying something he'll, after the game? If that's how they all get, feel, he'll probably get a light fine on what he said after the Phoenix game, don't you think? Ten thousand or something. Yeah, like he that. he was pretty careful. I mean, he, he, he was, definitely knew what he was insinuating, but he didn't he didn't go frontal like Gobert or use profanity like Gobert. Yeah, he, uh, <laughs> that was that was pretty blatant. I looked up some of the good ones. Van Bleets in early March was fantastic because he just called out that Ben Taylor by name yep. and said, and uh, he used several f bombs uh, to uh, describe uh, Ben's work. So it was, uh, and he got thirty five thousand dollars. So. But I don't think he had the history of uh, Gobert. So anyway, so yeah. how about it'd be fun ball game tonight though? It'll be good. How about the ball club yesterday, huh? Uh, Pablo was too much for the Kansas Cities, that's for sure. He looked really good. Uh, that changeup is uh, is a real deal, and uh, he, he, he did look dominant. Uh, and, and I thought he did it with a pretty tight strike zone, too. Uh, the guy did not uh, give you the line on the, if you're looking at the Fox box, uh, did not give you the line, and they needed that because they uh, – they only left the, they're they're in good they're in mid season form. They only best left the bases loaded three times yesterday. So that's uh that's kind of stealing last year's act. But uh yeah, he, he was really good and then the bull you got to see all of the bullpen. Probably more of the bullpen than you needed. Uh you, you could have let Jorge Lo, you could have let the other Lopez pitch the eighth inning instead of Griffin Jacks, but uh I guess um I guess uh 
Rocco was showing off or something, using four of them. But you know what? We don't. We do not often enough be amazed at Caleb Thielmeyer. How how is this possible? Mm-hmm. He was like out of baseball, out, out of the good. league for five years, and he was going to be the pitching coach at South Dakota State, and uh, or South Dakota or South Dakota State, and then he just decided to go to a camp in the Detroit. It was Detroit that put him in the Toledo, Toledo, I think, and he got everybody out, and then he had a few clubs trying to get him, and he shows up down in spring training. And he gets better every year. He's 36 or 7 now. It's, uh, it's, it's amazing. A, it's a great lesson for future parents out there. If you want your kid to make a couple million bucks playing sports, develop some left-handed junk as a pitcher, yes. learn how to punt for, yeah. uh, for football. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, uh, you and, know, be- and actually, the thing about him is he went to that dry. He's got to be the greatest advertisement for drive line of anybody, doesn't he? Because he throws yeah. like 94 now, and he used to throw 89. And he, he throws a sloppy curve and a 93, four mile an hour fastball, and that's enough. I guess he can throw a little slide ball once in a while, too, but it's he's, he's dominant. It's incredible. Some yeah. other interesting notes from yesterday, by the way, uh, around the league. So, you know, we had the, yesterday was the first, the first day of all these new rule changes. So we had uh, 21 stolen bases across the league. Yes. Which puts us on pace for, I believe, like a, like a 50% uptick. And if we did it, if we did that 50%, every day, 50%, yeah, 50% least. uptick. Yeah, it's one day. But, yeah. uh, and well, then we had two games that were two hours and 14 minutes, 10 games under three hours. The average game time was down like 25 minutes compared to Great. last year's average game time. But to Dr- Toronto and the Cardinals, it, we they proved that if you if you play a 10 to 9 game it can still take a long time. They played 338, I believe. But uh, that's still pretty like good that. though for a 10 yeah. to 9 10 to 9 game. It is I mean the the first game I was watching yesterday was the Yankees the Yankees and uh Logan Webb was pitching for this pathetic Giants team. They're awful. God, they're awful in the lineup. But they each each team struck out 16 times. Yeah. 32 strikeouts in that game. They're gonna be they're gonna set a world record for strikeouts with this new system, I think. I I, I think that the hitters are gonna be uh you know they they can't contemplate what the guy just did to him to get strike two. You know, by the time they figure it out, it's strike three. And there's going to be a lot of strikeouts this year, which is okay. I I'll sacrifice. I mean, strikeouts are already completely out of hand anyway. So if they go up ten percent, I'll take thirty twenty five minutes. And they're happy to get them over yeah. quickly. Just stay yeah. in the box and strike out. Yeah, right. You you don't have to run around in uh, in the box, but. Uh, if, now, if Buxton can run like that on the triple, why the hell can't he play center field? <laughs> huh? Why can't he play center field? Because they're afraid. Was, uh, they're afraid I, that he'll be on. The I was That's sitting exactly next why. to a former, uh, uh, two-time uh, World Series champion manager uh, during yesterday's game. Uh, we watched it on TV, and he had the same query when because uh, he thinks. Buxton is the most amazing thing in the outfield he's ever seen in his life. And, uh, and when, and he ran out the triple, uh, we both looked at each other and said, why is he not playing center field? <laughs> you know, so, uh, but you know, I guess if you're, if you're, uh, if you, you figure the other team is going to get one, no runs, one run or two runs, you can afford to have Michael Taylor, doing what he's going to do, which is bad out 210 uh, and hit eighth or ninth or whatever. It is. Yeah. I think Judd's point about it's, they don't want him standing around. I think he, it, the knee just gets inflamed when he's even just like uh, just standing up out there for three hours. Right. They're just mm-hmm. putting pressure on it. So yeah. well, it's only two and a half. So and, and, that's and, a good point. And, yeah. and, it could be 214. Who knows? And yeah, that's why. And you're only out there half the time. So it's an hour and 15 minutes. <laughs> I don't know. I think they should. I, I, well, they, you know, they've made their commitment and they're going to let him be the DH. And if he hits like that, instead of swinging like an idiot, trying to hit everything in the left field stands like he did last year when he hit 218, if he can, if he takes the ball the other way and kills it. Uh, uh, TK was uh, fairly funny about 
Uh, Kepler not hitting the ball to left field, though. He was, uh, he was, you know, Kepler <laughs> comes up and there. He that guy has puzzled the former manager. I'll tell you that that uh, he he just, you know, would rather be a two ten hitter than than get a free hit out the left field once in a while. Yeah. Hey, who uh, who who hosted this this meeting of the minds yesterday? Oh, uh, Tom did. He's, he's, okay. Uh, he's got some. Uh, he had a new hip put in in January, so he's uh, using the walker, and uh, he's uh, you know he's slowing down. But uh, he uh, he was busy yesterday because he had he was watching the Twins, but he had the computer watching the races at, from Twins Fires. He had a wager <laughs> too on that. So. Does so, he just like phone him in, or how does he? I'm guessing he doesn't no, go online. You can bet on online. You can bet on. He's so online, he goes online. online. On, the, on the computer. Yeah, yeah. He's on. <laughs> It's amazing. What a hoot. Hey, how how about the gallo shift that Kansas City tried? I was delighted to see the outfielder couldn't field a ground ball and dropped it. Yes, yes. He's Wasn't mad. That great? He, he, I saw he was mad that they called it a hit. Didn't call it a hit. Uh but so was where was the how where did the center fielder play then? I was shaded a little towards left. Yeah. Uh, that was the right fielder who came in. So yeah. the center fielder, I think, shaded the other way mm -hmm. to to cover for the right fielder if Gallo pulled the ball so, towards the fence. They didn't really play the right field line then. They just uh -uh. The, 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 right, no. the, right, the right fielder played normal, and the or was the right fielder the right fielder he, played second base or deep they, second. They basically yeah. had two outfielders in left and right center, and then the right okay. fielder playing a deep second with the lines and the lines unguarded, and then a big gap towards sort of. The I suppose they figure if he hits it to right field, it's going to be a home run anyway. If he gets it in the air, right? <laughs> yep. it's just, you know, he's going to hit 22 home runs, and then he's going to hit four singles. And uh, <laughs> that's that's the way he hits. So uh, I suppose that it's going to – that's going to. I don't think they're going to do anything about it, though, baseball, because uh, – it's a curiosity item, right? And they like that's what we want, right? We want people to say, hey, did you see the did you see the way they're playing Gallo there? And uh, yeah, and how would you even police it? Because because they weren't, yeah. it's not they didn't have they had they had one outfielder was on the shortstop mm -hmm. side of, yeah. of the outfield. Yeah. Draw box. So okay. You got two yeah. outfielders in right in the right field area. You can do whatever you want with them. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. There's nothing. Hmm. So uh, Kelly and I had this debate. You can. You can't have your feet in the infield on the outdoor out, outfield grass, right? Obviously, you can, you can on the infield grass, right? You can play the, yeah. the first baseman and third baseman can play up against the bunt. Yes, uh, yeah, because it says every infielder has to have his has his spikes on the dirt. Correct. So we were we were wondering whether I, I looked it up to see. I, I assume you can charge a bunt. So I mean, yeah, you, could, you can. I mean it. The first baseman can come up and play 50 feet away from the hitter if he wants to. So, I, I mean, I haven't seen that yet, but we were we were wondering about that. But, uh, boy, I saw a lot. Of, I watched good pieces of three, four games yesterday. I saw a lot of base hits that weren't base hits, didn't you, last year? Yep, more base yeah. hits, more stolen bases, yeah. just less, less dead time. Ur the, I'm yeah. here for it. Urgency was – actually there which i haven't seen in baseball in years no yeah and the uh, i mean but the ground you know the good hard hit ball I, I i think the first game i watched the first inning they said well that was a six three last year <laughs> you know like they hit a like a left-handed hitter and they hit a hard three hopper where the you know to the where the shortstop Played last year against a full hitter, and uh, and it was a, it was base hit. There was, there, I saw five or six hits that weren't hits last year, so I I like that too. You know what I really like, and I didn't realize it till yesterday, the 15 seconds to say whether you wanted a replay or not, to say 15 yeah. seconds. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to. We're not going to have people waiting to see if a fingernail comes off the base to uh, tag them out you know they're they're not going to have time to determine that so they just got to wave it off so i i really like that rule the uh because it I, i've i've said all along that this replay was never intended for the guy who pops off the base by three inches when he's stealing second and the guy keeps the glove on him 
um, and and the first base, the play at first base where the guy dives back and is, you know, yeah. So I I think that's a great rule too. I mean, the reviews for the uh, new speed up are fantastic, right? Yeah, although even even the uh, uh, even Cora didn't complain in uh, Boston when uh, Debers got uh, called out strike three because he was looking down, knocking mud off his spikes. I I, I think they have to. Um, maybe uh look at that you know if a, if a guy's doing something like that but uh hey so hey, far, go, go, hey golfers have to hit golfers have to hit a mud ball right. baseball yeah. players just step I'm in done. there with mud on your cleats figure it out <laughs> sorry so uh 21 stolen bases yesterday pat there was only six on opening day last year between all 30 teams 21 stolen bases versus six did our boys have one did we have one did we have uh, one i don't uh, think I so don't think uh, we did mm-hmm. No, I don't think so. Well, uh, I, I don't know if uh, we're going to be part of that uh, movement, especially if Buxton's not going to be stealing. Good. Michael A. Taylor could get you 20 if yeah, you yeah. wanted him to. If he gets if he's got to get on base. He's got to get on base. That's a good point. <laughs> Can he get on base 20 times? That's Story the question. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the uh, chubby catcher looked pretty good yesterday. He's, a, he's definitely a good receiver. Yes, he he's, is. He's, he's an upgrade on uh, – Poor Gary Sanchez. Gary, get a job. Gary, anywhere. No, no. He has not gotten a job. No job for Gary. No job for Miguel. Yeah. No, jo- no job for Archer, Bundy, yeah, Kat, my Tyler guy, Duffy. I don't think my guy Kenny Vargas, or the rumor was Kenny was going to go to Cincinnati camp, and then he didn't go. I don't know. You think Miguel's going to end up in Mexico? He should go to the KBO, man. Yeah, go to KBO. Just go hit Is like 40 bombs somewhere? in the KBO. He'll play again. He'll play What's again. What's he somewhere. waiting for? What's he waiting for? He Why might he... weigh like 500 pounds I mean, by the time the season's his done. His birth father's got a murder charge in the Dominican, but uh, that's got nothing to do with him. The guy didn't help raise him. Yeah. yeah. He could go testify against him and what a jackass he is, but uh, that's, uh, you know, that's that's not an excuse not to play. Come on, Mikael. You're Let's 29 years old. You're 29. You know, it was only 2015 where he showed up. It's only eight years ago. Boy, those uh, the the twin the twins take police that circled around for years just oh, wa- wa- wanting yeah, fire all Matthew of Collar. the the math Matthew Collars and Royces myself you know <laughs> anyone who dare suggest Miguel Sano was not all that great at baseball yeah I, I literally Pat got a couple emails one in particular from someone at a notable Twins blog platform three years ago when Matthew Collar on Score North Radio at the time. Mm-hmm went on a rant and said, Miguel Sano is not a good baseball player. He does one thing well. And I got an email from someone demanding that he be fired from anything <laughs> other than Vikings talk. Well, I have uh, I put up with that in the press box for, uh, you know, because I, a uh, couple of years ago, virtually every time he batted, I ripped him. And uh, the, uh, the, the, the Gleeman and Hayes would uh, made a made a big joke out of my uh, Sano I don't want to call it hatred. I never disliked the guy as a human being, but uh, hatred. Your Sano correctness? Yes, my my Sano. Uh, uh, the guy's, uh, but it's uh, you know, come on, Miguel, you, you can't be done making money here. Go to go to Korea. Come on, do something. I got I a team for him, the Milwaukee Milkman. He's the perfect milkman. American <laughs> Association, can't you see it? Go hit forty-two hey. bombs. I mean, Adam Brett Walker hit like forty yeah, bombs for the, milkman, for the milkman, didn't he? Yeah. Hey, did. You realize that the Saint Paul Saints open Tuesday? Yeah, at home they yeah, open home next. Yeah. They open tonight, right? Yes. The regular season in Toledo. They open at home next Tuesday. Have you seen the weather forecast, fellas? Yeah, it's for next a little Thursday, a little overnight nice, yeah. low sixteen. Okay. Overnight you know low. Booming up to 39 during the day. <laughs> Put your park on and get in the damn box and shut up. It's because you'll only be there two hours and 25 minutes. So That's exactly on. right. It's going to be quick. Oh, celebrate. That's it. You know, we like it here, right? We, it should be the sign should now say, we're fast. Come on. <laughs> you, won't, you won't be here long. That's something <laughs> you, you won't be here long. long. <laughs> Come on out. Come on out to the ballpark. You won't be here hey, long. Twins fans. <laughs> hey, Twins fans. Hey, Twins fans. Pablo, uh, Pablo looked damn good, though. Boy, that changeup's good. Ooh, man. He's a good pitcher. Yeah. He's a good you know pitcher. What it does? You know what the ball does? Comes out of his hand. It does. It really comes out of his hand. Yeah, I thought, and I thought, I thought Duran. I thought Duran came in and uh, was throwing the living fire out of the ball yesterday. Yes, too. But can they score the basketball? That's my question. That's all I care about in life. 
103 is firing, I'd say, to throw the fire out of it. <laughs> yeah. No, we miss Guardy's cliches, man. We do, yes. We, we get right. him on sometime. All right, Pat. We'll see you All next right. week. There he is. You going to the Lakers? You going to the game tonight, uh, Judd? Uh, Lakers? I was going to till the threat of like sixty inches of snow. I might oh, have to stay home now. Screw that. I think I think we might we might uh, we might just get in there as a, as a couple of fans tonight. The Mackies right and the, drink okay. a, drink a couple You're right beers. By the barn. Yeah, I can take the wife's. You going, Pat? Yeah, it's like a snowplow. The wife's Volvo. It's great. Right. There you go. All right. There you go. Yeah. All right, Pat. We'll see you next week. There he is, Roycey Unchained, uh, Scornorth YouTube channel, and all of the Roycey Unchained podcast platforms.